Hi, survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well. But what's going on in this world? It's not. Hi. I'm at the zoo. I love to see the animals. I don't like seeing them locked up, but. Hi. And I also want to see how they were acting in this heat, so I'm glad to see they're in the, uh, under the shed, in the shed, you know, because it's really hot, y'all. If you're not here in Texas, in these southern states, I'm telling y'all, you can't imagine how hot it is. It is unbelievable. So, this is the zoo. And, um, yeah, I want to talk to y'all about these emails I've been receiving. I've been receiving so much information about so many different things that we talk about, right? But it seems like the emails are becoming more and more and more intense. I'm getting a lot of emails about this next illness that's out here, y'all. Do not sleep on it. I'm telling you, please be careful. I'm not saying be fearful. I'm saying be careful. Y'all, it's more cases of that M-O-N-K-E-Y stuff. That illness there, then they're telling you. <clears throat> they're telling people that you can only contract it through like, you know, touching somebody with it or close contact or something like that, but I'm hearing differently. And this is all allegedly. Um, they're saying that if somebody have that and they touch a surface and you go behind and touch that other surface or something like that, because you know, people don't keep stuff clean, y'all. That's why I was interested to people keep their houses clean. They don't let any and everybody run in and out your house and your car. <clears throat> and they're saying it's more cases. There's a lot of people coming out. They're showing those on their bodies, but we do know that with this ugly agenda that sometimes they may have actors or actresses we never know y'all but i'm just saying don't sleep on these times that we're living in don't sleep on them and you out here in america you looking listening to me you have a little time to get yourself together because a lot of these countries other people in these countries they suffering y'all they suffering bad they have no food that war over there i hate saying that word word that stopped all that because a lot of the foods and stuff that was coming from that area was being were being distributed to neighboring countries. Those people are not eating right now, y'all. Seriously. They don't have the luxuries and the conveniences that we do here. But, you know, having all this wide variety and selections of different foods. Why do you think so many people are trying to literally die to come here? People are dying to come here. Even in the midst of all this chaos and confusion that's going on here. They still would rather be here than where they are. Y'all, I've seen videos myself, people over there dying. Begging, begging, pleading for help. How do I get out of here? You guys know where the front of the zoo is? Do you know where the front of the zoo is? Is it this way? Do you know if the, the, yeah, the exit. It's gonna be this way, all the way down and make a left. Okay, thank you. So, we do have time here, y'all, because it's going to hit here hard, too. It's going to hit here so hard. These people, I don't know. Because these people over here are so unprepared, and they're, they're not knowledgeable of what's going on. They have no idea. People, people don't even realize, not even thinking about what we just came through or what we, you know, with the other illness. They're just thinking, okay, that's just something that happened. It's gone away. <laughs> and then whatever else they put on the news, they hop on that. But it's going to be so bad. And these people around here, you know, people in America, so spoiled. Going to be violent, y'all. They're going to be violent. People that you know, that you never seen that way, going to be that way. So let's just prepare our minds. Prepare our bodies. There's a lot of corrupting these politicians. I tell y'all that much. That's a fact. Allegedly. I can't stomach them. I don't even watch TV because I don't be want to see them. I don't want to hear them. These people making billions and billions of dollars doing what they're doing to people. You think it's bothering them that people all over the world are starving right now behind 
these ugly agendas. You think it's bothering them that a lot of people can't even pay their rent on the verge of homelessness. A lot of people have become homeless already. Y'all, it's, it's record-breaking homelessness right now. <laughs> it's not even funny. People outside of grocery stores begging people for food that they've just bought. People are leaving grocery stores getting robbed of their food. Y'all ain't hear some of these prepper channels talking about this one lady came out the grocery store, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what prepper channel it was? And uh, I think she's, she's disabled. And somebody grabbed her purse and took her food. And they fought her. She was fighting back. That's why I tell y'all, keep the body right, man. You're going to you're gonna have to defend yourself. You're going to have to protect yourself. It's about to be ugly. She was on her way to her car, coming out the grocery store and got attacked for her groceries and her purse. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to get to the front, to the exit. So, uh, and you guys here in this content, y'all have a, y'all have an advantage, you know? All y'all that's following prepping channels and awareness channels, y'all have a big advantage. Because I, I talked to my mentor, my prepper mentor. I haven't revealed to y'all who it is, but when y'all find out, y'all gonna be so shocked. It's one of the biggest preppers on YouTube. And um, I get to talk to him every now and then. I talk to him today. And uh, I tell him how grateful I am, I am of him because he was the one who warned me at the beginning of that pandemic, what was going on. And even though I was a prepper, I, uh, I wasn't aware of what was going on or what was we were facing. And because of his content, I went out there and bought like two years supply of food and bought land. And I did it like within a week. Thank God I had the means to do so. I didn't have a whole lot, <laughs> but I was like, I didn't have nothing after I did all that. But, um, but what I did, uh, invest in, you know, I took all the little money I had and I went and bought all this food and preps and stored it properly. And then is this the exit? And then I took uh yeah, this is the exit. Uh, the last couple change I had and went about a property, and it was only by the grace of God I had enough money. But I didn't at first. I had to hustle it up the rest legally to get it, you know. And uh, I talked to him. I'm so grateful for him. Y'all be thank thankful for this type of content to get you in the direction where you need to be. If you wise, you not only will listen to it. But you'll get prepared. It's gonna get ugly. <laughs> Uglier, should I say. Really, really quick. All right, please follow me on my other platforms. Hit that thumbs up, please. Share this content. And um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't. If you're interested in receiving more commentary as this, please uh, follow me on BitChu and Patreon for, well, on Patreon for weekly survivalism classes. And if you're looking for bug out areas in Texas, Atlanta, Texas, I have some for sale and first lease. Links are all in the, in the description. I'm sorry for the way I'm breathing, y'all, but it's really hot out here. I, I have to exercise every day, and I encourage you guys to do the same. So I have to come out and get my body right and keep my body right and my mind right because it's really stressful times. And exercising will alleviate a lot of that stress. I'm almost on two hours of walking today. That's why I came to the zoo so I could walk around and see things while I was, while I was walking. Watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it. And keep surviving.